Why is the Eddie Bauer 2500R case so iconic? Because this is affordable luxury redefined. Not only is this fifth wheel beautiful, but coming in around 9,000 pounds and well under 30 foot make this a great option to be half ton towable. You have a large rear kitchen, theater seating directly across from a TV, and you even get washer dryer prep in the bedroom. Being a rear kitchen floor plan, the rear kitchen's really just the crown jewel of this layout, and they did a fantastic job. So starting off, you have thermal formed countertops back here, and you get a lot of countertop space. You have really good prep space between the sink and the cooktop, as well as some additional space right over here. You'll also notice that because we have a thermal formed countertop, it allows us to undermount the stainless steel bowl, and that is an apron front. You'll also notice the two-tone faucet on here, so very stylish, and that's what I like about Eddie Bauer is they, they kind of bring some of that quality and combine it with really good aesthetics. You have a bank of three drawers right over here as well, so plenty of drawer space with the bottom two being a little bit larger, and underneath the sink is space for pots and pans. One of the things I also like is when a manufacturer gives you a dedicated place for a trash can, and that's what they have done here. Over to the side is a three burner recessed cooktop with a glass cover and an oven underneath, microwave right up top as you would expect, and then tons of storage all the way around here in the uppers. And then lastly, it's going to finish off with a 16.2 cubic foot fridge freezer combo. This is also 12 volt, so it will run off your batteries. Now, the best seat in the house in the 2500RK is going to be right here, the theater seats. They're extremely comfortable. You have lots of cup holders in case you want a few beverages. You have a little storage area here in the center, and of course, being theater seats, they also recline very easily. Now, that is going to be straight across from the TV as well, which I really like, because that's gonna be the best viewing angle, right? You don't wanna have to turn your neck one way or the other, get a stiff neck. The TV is going to be right here, and right underneath that is the dinette. The reason I really like this setup is because if you do have guests over, this is a great way to have conversation. You can have people sitting in the dinette and in the theater seats and everyone feels like they're involved in that convo. Now this does drop down into a bed, but it's a fairly small one, so probably won't accommodate an adult, but it would work for a kiddo. The other thing I like is the fact it is campsite, so I have the window, so I'm able to see out there to my campsite, which is great when I'm having my morning coffee, that's the view that I want. And underneath, take a look at the storage. You get pretty decent storage size. Nothing huge, right? Like I would have liked to have seen it a little bit bigger, but the fact that they have pull-out drawers is going to be the easiest way to access anything underneath the dinette, so I do appreciate that. A couple other things I do want to mention. One of them, take a look at the top of the slide fascia. I like how they kind of have embossed the Eddie Bauer in here. You'll have it there. You have it in the, the dinette cushions. It has it in a few different places. Again, really just bringing that Eddie Bauer look and feel to the inside of the RV. And then right here, this is going to be like like your coffee hutch or bar area. Not only is it excellent additional storage both down below and up top, but it's also very well uh, kind of designed and decorated with an actual backsplash. This is real, it's not a stick on or anything, which I appreciate. Uh, and you have a power tower here in the corner. So, you know, if you're not using anything electronic, you keep it down, but if you have like a blender, coffee maker, toaster, something like that, you can pop it up and have it put in some work. One last thing I do wanna mention is your controls will be located right here on the side of the cabinet and that includes your JBL multimedia center that you can power your speakers both inside and out. The bathroom is very well done. First off, the fact you have a slider door instead of a regular door, so that way you don't have to do the dance when you're you know, coming up the stairs or out the bedroom where the door only goes one way and you have to go all the way around it, which is a huge pain. This definitely simplifies all of that. You'll also see the porcelain foot flush lever toilet. I always prefer a porcelain bowl just because it stays cleaner, it's easier to clean. You'll get a lot more longevity out of it. As far as space, being six foot tall, about 200 pounds, I have plenty of leg room. Uh, my shoulder does you know, rub a little bit on the door here, but definitely not an issue, something I can uh, something I can definitely work with. Now, straight in front of me is going to be the vanity, and I think they did a pretty good job here as well. You get good countertop space, you have plenty of storage underneath, and you still have the mirrored medicine cabinet. And as for the shower, although I have to kind of step, you know, duck down underneath right here, I can stand up in here even without the skylight. I don't have any issues. With that skylight, you can probably be 6'3", maybe even 6'4", and still be able to stand up in here without having to bend down. And 
and I can actually turn sideways because it's wide enough. Plus, again, it comes with the shower door. And one of my favorite parts is that this also has a tankless water heater, which means you can be in here and take a 20 minute shower if you want, gone are the days of the five minute shower. In the bedroom, you will get a queen bed with the wedge pillow, which I kind of like. It doubles as like a backrest here. Uh, I think that is just very versatile, so I like that they included that. You get some reading lights here as well. And then underneath the bed, you get big storage. You'll see that that is strut supported, so it's nice and easy to access. Both sides will have mirrored wardrobe. The one side is going to be a little bit smaller. This side right here is definitely larger. So if you plan on using the mirror, this would definitely be the side that you want to use. You will also see right behind me is a large wardrobe storage and plenty of drawers down below. One of my favorite things though is this right over here, which is something you almost never see in a fifth wheel this size, and that is washer dryer prep. So this is all wardrobe if you don't plan on putting in a washer dryer, but if you do, you have the option here and that is a big deal. You also see right here at the foot of the bed if you want a TV in the bedroom, right there is where you'd mount it. All right, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Eddie Bauer 2500RK, starting off right up front with the automotive style fiberglass front cap on here that is going to be painted. And underneath that is the Kurt Rotaflex pin box. Not only does it look nice going down the road, it's also going to tow nice thanks to this pin box because that Rotaflex is gonna help any bucking and chucking, which is when you kind of start and stop your tow vehicle, you're not gonna get that jerking sensation as badly. Coming down underneath here, You'll see the front compartment has plenty of additional storage. They did a good job with the components, kind of mounting everything here so it's not just a hot mess. Then over to the side is all that additional space. The door here does have a magnetic catch as well, which I definitely prefer. It's a lot easier than having to latch something underneath there, so definitely a fan of that. As for uh, propane tanks, you'll see you have one 30-pounder on this side, same thing on the other side. Dropping down underneath is the auto level system. It's one touch auto level, definitely love that. Make setting up just so much quicker. As for your basement storage, this one does have slam latch. Again, it is a magnetic catch. And if we take a look inside here, there's a couple things I want to point out. One is the fact that all of our uh, kind of like HVAC and plumbing is all up top. It's kind of tucked away. So you don't have anything running vertically through here, which is really nice. You don't have anything in the way. Uh, you will also see kind of on the far side is the auto level. Right over here is a solar charge controller. This one, it does come prepped for solar solar if you want it. It also is prepped for a tire pressure monitoring system. Uh, you have a light in there as well. We talked a little bit earlier about that JBL sound system. The speakers for it are going to be located right out here. Love these steps. They're foldable. You have aluminum treads on here. The first step is a little bit larger than the other, so you have a little bit bigger platform when entering or exiting the RV. Um, a few things about construction that I want to hit on because I think that's a big selling point of the Eddie Bauer, right? We talked a little bit about quality, and this is really where you start to see it. It's not just about beauty. And one of them starts with the tires. These are Goodyear Endurance tires. This is definitely one of the uh, more highly touted tires in the RV industry and for good reason. Also behind this fiberglass skin is going to be an Asdel composite rather than Luon. That does a few big things for you. One, it's going to be lighter weight. It's also not going to absorb any water. So you're not gonna get delamination and you won't get the off gassing from it. So huge, huge advantages to having that. Power awning up top with an LED light strip and you have a TV hookup in case you want a TV out here. Now in the very back, how much do you love that? At least I do, right? You have a little beverage fridge. I'm a huge fan. I love that they were able to find a spot, be able to tuck it away right in there. I think that's just really cool. In the back here, you will see that you also have an accessory receiver. So if you have like a bike rack or something, and then up top is going to be uh, an actual backup camera because the camera comes standard. It's not just prep and it does have ladder prep. So if you want to be able to climb up onto the fully walkable roof, you can do that. On the hookup side, you will see all of our water hookups. Right then, as we make our way back a little bit further, a couple things that I want to point out. One is if you look right up top on the slide, there is a slide topper. You will have that on all the slides, and that is going to be standard on the signature series here. And then underneath is going to be our termination. This one does have two. You have both a black and gray tank right up here, and then you will have a second gray tank in your galley. That termination will be in the back. Fantastic rear kitchen, living space, and washer dryer prep, all in a half ton towable fifth wheel. The 2500RK is definitely one you need to check out.